Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure Task Recorder for advanced mode in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2. There are two types of recording in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2. One is basic mode and other is advanced mode. In advanced mode, we are going to learn in this particular video what how to configure Task Recorder so that it can do uh, advanced mode recording for us. And uh, in this particular video, what we're going to go through, uh, I'll paste right here. First thing we're going to go through is we want to configure the parameters. This comes under setting of uh, uh, task recorder um, in advanced mode. And number two, configure industry. Number three, configure framework. Number four, configuring hierarchy level and then creating a new node for our business process to record. And number six, selecting a business process type to record. So let's go, this is my server where I have installed Microsoft Dynamics AX. I have fired up already the client. You need to go in File, Tools, and you will see the task recorder. Now, uh, if you install Microsoft Dynamics AX R2, the first thing uh, you will see is basic task recording. But um, there are KB out there, and I have put out another video how to install that uh, particular hotfix in order to get our task recorder in advanced mode. So please watch that video if you don't know, if you don't see this screen, if you just see the screen of basic task recorder, that means that hotfix is not applied in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2 environment. So we're going to go through, first thing we're going to go through is setting. We need to do some settings before we can use a task recorder in advanced mode. First thing we're going to go ahead and click on parameters. This will uh, ask us first where we want to basically once we are recording is done where we want to save the recording. As you can see it says recording file path. So we're going to go ahead and give the file path of this recording. Keep in mind that uh, the user that is connected in this session of Microsoft Dynamics AX R2 that needs to have a right permission on that particular folder that you're going to select otherwise it'll give an error that you cannot uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX cannot write in that particular folder so I just wanted to mention it before you get an error right here is my uh, Dynamics AX so I'm gonna go ahead and select that particular folder so if you have a template file path you can give that template file path I'll put another video how to use uh, Excel uh, template or who you how to create a template uh, for remaining business processes from one process to another so we're gonna go ahead and close this and the second thing up here is industry you need to create an industry in order for us to record in advanced mode so you can go ahead and task recorder industry code uh, I'm going to do Tech Brothers and I'm going to name it Tech Brothers as well if you already have some uh, industry out there and you wanted to create a new you can click on new and it'll give you the same option so we're gonna go ahead and delete this one uh, this is our industry creation so we're gonna go ahead and click close next thing we need to set up is framework so you need to give a name to that particular framework I'm going to do Tech Brothers framework name Tech Brothers again you can give it a meaningful name such as if you are going to use this task recording for a business particular business process such as customers you can go ahead and do that and publisher up here I'm going to do Tech Brothers LLC and rest of that if you wanted to go ahead and release date or whatever you wanted to put you can do that if you take a look on the detail th these are the detail the release date up here is that when you are going to release this particular process uh, for users to use and if you have a URL internet URL you can put it right here so you can also put the description what this uh, particular uh, framework is going to do so we're gonna go ahead and close this and next is hierarchy level now uh, just to un make you understand what hierarchy level is uh, it's basically if you have a core process which is customer and and then there are some supporting processes that is uh, how to create a customer 
uh, how to update a customer. Those are the basically supporting process, the transactional process of that particular core process. Your core process is customer. And then after that, how to create a customer, how to update a customer, how to delete a customer. Those are your supporting process for that particular core process. So up here you have option, two option recording uh, modes. As I said that there are two recording modes in Microsoft Dynamics AX. One is basic and other is advanced. In this case, we're going to choose advanced because if you start doing the basic recording, it's gonna give you two outputs. Number one, a, a Word document that'll show the step-by-step -step, uh, recording process uh, that you went through in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2. And also your recording video but in advanced mode ad the difference between basic mode and advanced mode is that uh, uh, in advanced mode it collects more metadata it uh, uh, actually collects all the tables that your process is trying to hit in Microsoft uh, uh, SQL Server where your uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX database reside so you get a lot more information and in order to put uh, this particular process on Microsoft Lifecycle Services it has to be advanced mode you cannot put any, um, you cannot upload on lifecycle services any process that you have recorded in basic mode. So this is pretty important. So we're gonna go ahead and click on advance. And up here, if you have multiple frameworks, they will show up here. Right now we just have one industry. You, you can, uh, if you have more industries, you can go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and click new. Uh, this is our framework. We're going to create a hierarchy level in Framework Tech Brothers and Industry Tech Brothers. So we're going to go ahead and click New. And up here, um, first thing that uh, allow artifacts, let's choose the hierarchy level. We're going to choose it to. And we're going to go ahead and sequence maybe one or maybe two. That is a second sequence. Um, allow artifacts. You can reuse this particular uh, hierarchy level and keep uploading your business processes. Let's say that you're creating this for a core process called customers. All the supporting process, you can go ahead and um, upload those supporting process and they will come under this particular framework and particular industry and you I'll show you on Microsoft Life Lifecycle Services later on the videos that what allow artifacts means you can select that and it'll give you a hierarchy customer plus if you click on plus sign it'll go on how to create customer and then if there are two or three processes that support um, basically how to create customers um, based on different international levels then you can click on plus sign so it'll give you hierarchy level of that particular um, particular process so we're gonna go ahead and basically say okay allow the artifacts because we might reuse this uh, in later on so this is our hierarchy level so we're gonna go ahead and close now if you look at it we are completed the settings, parameters, industry, framework, hierarchy level, and now we're gonna go ahead and um, up here, if you see, this is a root um, process. You cannot create any node in root process. I mean, you can create under the root process, you cannot modify the root folder. So if you click up here, this is, this is called new, uh, root node you cannot modify root node if you need to create any process uh, brand new then you need to click on uh, new node before you click on new node we have to select a particular framework where we want to create this node so we're gonna go ahead and select our framework or industry so now the root becomes framework underscore industry so whatever your framework name is or industry name is is gonna appear right here and this becomes basically the root node you cannot modify the root node so under root node we're gonna go ahead and create a new node new node means that you're going to create a new process once we click on new node it's, it's gonna ask you what kind of business process that you want to create is it core process or is it supporting process and I have mentioned a little bit about what core processes are and what supporting processes are so we're gonna go ahead and click on new node customer underscore create this is 
this is going to show you I'm going to go ahead and do the supporting process in this particular demo how to create customer and we're gonna go ahead and click on modules up here uh, these are the modules which module basically are you working on we're gonna go ahead and select a customer module since we're going to show how to create customer you can select basically any module and start um, recording that particular process now operation group if you click on that now it's asking is it a core process or supporting process we're gonna go ahead with the supporting process you don't have to create a core process but it's always a good idea to create a core process first and then create new nodes for all the supporting process of that particular uh, uh, core process so we're gonna go ahead and click on supporting process we're gonna go ahead and save that All right, we got an error, could not create a leaf node. Please provide a framework. I know what the issue is. If you go back and click on our hierarchy level, if you can see right here, we have set up uh, the sequence and hierarchy level cannot be same. So we're gonna go ahead and click sequence one. And then we're gonna go back and choose this choose this all right let's make sure that our industry is set up right framework is set up right so just gonna reload everything So we're going to go ahead and create the new node again. As you can see, it has created the new node. So we're, going, we're basically ready. Up here, there are a couple options. Uh, modules, we have already selected the customer. If you look at usage, you're, you need to specify whether it's going to be a setup. System administration business processes always are set up. Is it a master process, business process, or is it a transaction? So we're going to do it in transaction that um, you know how to create a customer. So we're going to go ahead and select transaction. And after that, once we're done, this is basically how you configure task recorder in advanced mode before you can go ahead and start your um start your uh, recording so if we click on start it's going to start i'm not going to do anything really basically this is it for my video and we will go ahead and do other videos and cover more options of this particular recording as you can see the recording has started you can go ahead and start your process it'll start recording back back behind the scene and if you notice right here Right here, the task recorder, it just minimized itself. And after you're done, you need to click on stop. And after you click on stop and it's done, then you can see your recording in the folder that you have configured in parameters. And I hope this video helps.